This video will show you how to clone from a Mac hard disk drive to a Mac SSD as part of a series of how to replace your hard disk drive with an SSD in an iMac. Good day ladies and gentlemen, Les Waller here. What do you do when your 2013 late edition Mac is not fast enough because you're editing video for your Les Waller International channel, your Les Waller Workouts channel, or your Waller Dog Gaming channel where you record all these games that you're playing. How do you revitalize it? I've got a spinning disc in here. Hint, hint. Simple. We replaced the one terabyte spinning disc with a two terabyte SSD. Now, I don't recommend this for everybody. I'm actually having a friend of mine do the install for me and I'll record it. It's dangerous in that you could break something, which means your warranty would be... So, do this at your own risk. But, he's done it on several systems already, so I'm not afraid. I know we can do this. It costs about $300 for all the equipment. We got an SSD drive. We got a hard drive USB enclo external enclosure. And we also have a kit to replace the sealant. It's a fix-it kit to replace the stuff on the outside. We'll put links in the description below for all three items that we, are per that we purchased and we will walk you through how to do this. The first thing we need to do is download a copy of Download Carbon Copy Cloner. We need to clone our hard drive to our SSD drive to in the external drive so that way we can replace it. Alrighty then, let's see what we got here. First thing we need to do then, take out our external hard drive kit that we bought. Ah, so this is how the case opens. SSD, SSD drive. Oh, look at this, see? Now, you can see here, there's only one way it can go in. We make sure that we're going in that direction. You see, Slides right in. Very easy, very, wow, that, that is freaking, that is nice. That that slides in very nicely. Now we're gonna go ahead and make sure this doesn't move around in a, during our operation, so we'll slide the case back on, like that. Plug in the USB cable on this end. If we're right side up, that always helps. It only goes one way as well, like that. Next thing we'll do is we'll connect it to the back of the Mac. All right, the blue light came on, on the uh, SSD container. Aha, so the disc you inserted was not readable by this computer. We need to type utility, uh, double click disc utility. Here it is. It's counterintuitive. But the first thing we need to do is erase it. So this is the external USB 3.0. This is not my working file. This is not my uh, internal hard drive. Erasing that will permanently erase all data stored on it. You can't undo this. Name. Uh, I'm going to call this uh, M-A-C-I-N-T-O-S-H SSD. We're going to go ahead and go with GUI GUID partition map. Erase. We don't want to use this as a backup machine. This is actually going to replace the hard drive we're using. Erase is complete. Click done to continue. Alright, so now we have it there. Now it shows up as uh, the Macintosh SSD. So let's, uh, we're going to move this onto another screen. Copy cloner. Now we want to download the trial version. Oh, I think we have to click this one then. A zipped file. All right, we're going to go ahead and Open the zip file. 
says, so we download it, it says double click to download zip file to extract the application, okay, and then double click the app and select move to applications when prompted. So let's double click it. Is it an app from the internet? Are you sure you want to open it? Yes. Must be moved to your applications folder. So we'll say move to applications folder. Carbon cloner, copy cloner. We agree. So we want to do a trial. Um, frequently asked questions and Catalina. I'm going to go ahead and accept and move this. I'm going to move this over here. We'll select the source and destination. Source. Here, here, here's the source. Destination. And without a doubt, there's Macintosh SSD. Destination must be modified if you require a bootable copy of Mac OS. We do want a bootable copy. Mac OS Catalina requires the APFS format. Okay. Oh, I need to click Allow CC to convert Macintosh SSD. I see. Okay. If we want to do this now, we click this now. Install CCC's privileged helper to adhering to Apple security best practices. CCC uses a privileged helper tool for coordinating all backup task utility. Before we get started with a backup task, we need to install CCC's helper tool. When you click the install button below, macOS will prompt for an admin user's credentials to authorize this request. We must click install CCC's privileged helper tool. So it's saying click here to open the security and privacy and they need me to unlock it. Step two, we did that. Step three is to drag the fish icon into the full disk access table. So, okay, we're gonna drag this and put it in here. We're clicking allow there. It's saying you can, uh, uh, it says uh, carbon copy cloner will not have full disk access until it is quit. You can choose to quit carbon copy cloner now or do it later on your own later. Okay, so that means we have to start it over again. Let's start it again. Don't need to check for updates. We're doing the trial. Looks like we can close this. So it's already copying this. So you can see here, it's actually, as soon as I did that, it started copying. We probably should have closed all of our applications because system stuff changes all the time. I've quit the Chrome app. I don't want anything to slow this down. Five hours and 32 minutes later, <coughs> Okay, backup completed successfully. Five hours and 55 minutes. All files copied. Okay. That's how you clone your Mac hard drive OS to a Mac SSD OS. The next step will be replacing it physically. Check out the next video.